Hi guys, um, thank you for watching. Uh, this is my first attempt of making a vlog. I haven't made uh, YouTube videos in a very long time. So today I will be making a project. Uh, basically what this project does, it automates building my project. Hmm, that's got a ring to it. So over time I got annoyed with the uh, when I'm trying to create a project whereby um, okay let me quickly show you so as I was saying um, I usually create a project this way uh, so let's open the terminal uh, sorry about the quality of my webcam um, so I usually store my project in this directory github and say for instance I want to create a new Python project so I will do it I will just make directory my new project and so whatever is in there is clean so what I then do create three directories so, um, you know you get have those tests and script will keep all my scripts and um, the project pipe package I'm gonna call and also I usually add um, set up the pie and a readme file then I do get in it so once that is initialized need to Go to GitHub and create, create a new repository. Uh, go here, yeah, create a new repository. Call it the same name, new project. And create, uh, wait a while. And it has to be SSH, copy that, put it there. And so let's just call it. Um, my new project oh. project and cd into that directory so in my new project i usually have set up the pi assuming that it's a python package and i usually do python related projects i create setup to pi and readme file at the same time also create three directories you gotta have your test uh, script directory and the name of my package in this case got the new project uh, so after this is done I usually do a get init so that initialized open my browser go to github create a new repository go to github go here create a new repository and call it the same name project yeah, I don't need to initialize and create a repository. Once that is done, make sure that it's a sage. Grab that link, this is the do a git add commit initial commit. Okay, that's done. And what I usually do is get push and upstream region master. And refresh. So this is how I usually do it. So I got tired and annoyed over time and decided to create um, Python script slash shell script. That does this automatically um, using the right directory name the right number of files available so there is this cool uh, package called cookie cutter written by Audrey and a couple of guys I would really recommend you to check it out I'll show you quick Firefox open Firefox and it's called cookie cutter Open the cookie cutter, or Audrey. So this is the package. You can check it out. 
So with me, I forked it and I created my own uh, cookie cutter Python package template. I'll put a link below. So how I usually, well now, do things. You know, cookie cutter, go get the link now. And yes, redownload it. So this will download and it will ask me for my full name. Okay, I know my, my, my GitHub username, PyPy username, project name. Okay, so the template is hard coded to sentimental analysis. So now let's just call it my new project. Same as what we did. Description. Okay. Um, description. My new project. Project and the project's log. Um, so I usually leave it as the project name with underscores so that I can import it. And the script, uh, well, no, no, no. so I'll just call my scripts script and uh, version one. Add PyPy page, yes. Add Codesi badge, yes. Uh, version, yes. License, yes. Say thanks, yes. Add pass. Is MIT license. So what this does, it creates a new um, project. So let's go in here. In here, you'll see that okay, there's a requirement to .txe manifest when you're doing the push into PyPy and make file. That there's some magic in the background. Contribution readme file. All the type of files that you will need. Um, so if I do a tree. Easily see that there. okay. This creates my init, my logo, uh, all basically everything that I need, and as well as a template of the test. And you can see, yeah. So in this case, uh, I can marry the Pi Pi GitHub package and Cookie Cutter, and then have all this to create a new package and then push it over to Git. So uh, in the past, seeing that I used to do the git init, create, uh, add everything and then push it. So I'll show you a new cool trick that I did. And, and um, just quickly move this here. So this is in my uh, bash, in my bash RC. Um, so if I open my bash RC, let's see. see. Uh, you'll see my dot files. I will also put a link below my open a link to my dot files and a blog that I um, pretty much uh, documented how I use my um, dot files. So I've got a function called uh, create project. So what this function does, it checks if my packages are installed, my pi github and cookie cutter is installed. And then what then what then happens? It asks me if I want to start a Python project, and it will then call Cookie Cutter, which will download my template, my Python package template. Um, it will then CD into the newly created Python project, and mm -hmm. from there onwards, it will initialize a new repository called the script uh, Python 3 script which calls which uses uh, the github pack uh, that I just showed you and instead of my password and username I usually just use a token um, I'll put a link below on where you can or how you can generate your own github token so what then happens is I create a new repo with the project name of the current um, working directory and the description is the same description that I uh, used on w when I was creating the cookie cutter as I showed you before. Um, from there onwards, uh, I <coughs> this will automatically create a new repository. So at the same time, I add my current mm, templated mm, information and an automated commit push and open sublime. So let me show you how uh, this thingamabob would actually, actually work. Uh, so my bash rc, my bash rc, go to my... So let's create a new project. Um, in this case, let me just delete me. Let's 
studio create a, a new project using the method of a, a dead. So say for instance create new project. Uh, it's okay. Obviously it's gonna be Python in my case. Um, yeah, let's re-download template to make it worthwhile. Um, obviously <coughs> in your case it's gonna be your full name, your email, your GitHub, your PyPy. Um, so project name, let's just call it my automated project and mm, description yeah my automated project project um yeah slack will be the same the project so automated script automated script in my case so there's the script that's going to be in the script directory and the version of pypy add pattern bash yes yes all the badges badges are good I like badges uh, so on pass MIT license. So this will CD into my directory. Successfully create um, repository and open Sublime so that I can continue doing what I love, just coding. So as you can see, it created a new repository, uh, a repository with this name, my auto my automated project so creating new project in my project there is multiple directories so as you can see I've got my slug where in this case there's all the important stuff that I need my logger the version and the script automated scripts using arc pass uh, and then my test I'm using unit test and everything is s is also it integrated with Travis as well so it adds uh, Travis and <coughs> execute your script whatever you're gonna pass in your arguments and there's a cool make file as well there's fun stuff you can check it out uh, readme farm so if you check the readme farm uh, you just make some fixes and commit and push also the setup.py with all the information that you will need in my case let's just commit and push the changes that are made so if I do the status let's see diff okay so I'll just commit this and push it let's wait for it to be pushed okay it's pushed uh, go to github and my repositories let's open my repositories see the newly created you can see my automated project was created uh, the description that I gave it is everything that I need uh, the licenses the build status well it's currently building if we go to Travis currently building the code quality using Codesi, the version of Python that I used. Uh, nice readme automated uh, readme farm. And it seems like it's building. Building my first build. You can pretty much uh, add as many build CIs uh, to this project if you want. <coughs> so, as I said, uh, for the template. I'll put all the links below. So let's in my template that I use. I'll put all the links below, and you should also check out uh, PyGitHub. It's got a nice, cool uh, readme farm and how it works. Pretty cool. So my build is going to continue, and in this case, I think it it passes by default. It passes yes. So that's how I ended up uh, automating the creation of my project because I got annoyed all the time um, s creating a directory, CD into that directory, making new uh, directories, your tests, your scripts, your project slug, uh, readme files, all this thing mobile, going to get GitHub, opening, tree, creating new repository. Uh, as you can see here, it's, it's cumbersome. So, I uh, will also put a link below on for to my 
dot files and a blog that I wrote regarding the dot files. Well, I think that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching. Stick around. There will be more projects uh, or videos that I'm making in the near future. Uh, so I told myself that I should be blogging at least twice a month and uh, both video blogging and uh, also creating uh, my blogs. Um, uh, so yeah, I hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching my first attempt of a blog after a very long time. Thank you. Bye.